We knew from the beginning that we wanted a rustic looking rig. You ready to hold on? <laughs> We're Jordan and Megan, and we are converting our cargo trailer into a perpetual adventure machine. Before we had even ordered the trailer, we worked hard on reclaiming pallets, crates, and fence slats to use as cabinets and wall. We hope you'll come along as we frame in some cabinets and get started on our workbench. We thought we had a great plan for the bathroom wall, but the sun thought otherwise and caused some serious expansion of the trailer walls. Previously on the build series, we ran our pipes, pumps, and PEX line for our plumbing. When we started testing, we ran into a few snags, but we ended up with running water. In this episode, we work on the living room shiplap, workbench, and hearth. The bathroom goes up and really transforms the space. We add supports for the shower walls and build the toilet box. We also frame in the upper and lower kitchen cabinets in the front of the trailer. A lot of work was put into making the shiplap boards. Fence slats were stripped of old paint and planed to make them thinner and weigh less. After much trial and error, I found that slightly diluted white paint accomplished the look I wanted. I painted the boards and then sanded the high points to create a roughed up look. Maybe I've watched too much HGTV with my mother-in-law, but I really like the look of shiplap. Running to Lowe's Depot was almost a daily thing for us. For this trip, we needed material for our bathroom walls. There was no stud to attach the bathroom wall to, so we glued aluminum C-channel to the quarter inch plywood and secured it using hollow door anchors. Our intention was to slide three quarter inch plywood into the C-channel and only secure it to the ceiling and the floor. We finished installing the wall in the cool of the evening. While working the next day, we discovered that the sun heating the outside of the trailer caused significant expansion and had pulled the walls apart. By spraying the outside with cold water, we determined the walls had separated more than half an inch. We decided we needed to screw the two walls together, so we added multiple pocket holes and shot screws into the C-channel. We created a support system along the front wall of the shower. This allowed room for the PEX line to travel to the shower head and a place to screw in our shower walls to. Then came kitchen cabinet framing. Just like with our floor rays, we used the scrap wood we had previously acquired. We started by adding the wall mounted counter supports. We debated about adding the complexity of a toe kick. We both agreed it would be nice not to stub our toes on the kitchen cabinets, so we decided to go for it.
Once the toe kick was in, we could start on the rest of the framing. Typically, kitchen cabinets are made of plywood and are 36 inches tall. To save weight, we chose to build a frame to mount our cabinet doors and countertops to. This was a little more involved in that there were many individual pieces and several different angles to account for. We made the cabinets 37 inches tall to allow for a five cubic foot chest freezer that would roll under the countertop. Our design requires that we place cross braces in specific locations to attach our countertops to. We also had to account for the sink and stovetop. I really enjoyed woodworking and I wanted to do the upper cabinet framing myself, but some parts were just so much easier with two people. Jordan jumped between helping me and working on the bathroom with Noah. After seeing the cost of composting toilets, we chose to build one ourselves. It will function in a similar way. It will separate liquids from solids and have a fan in the toilet box to vent and dry everything out. We ordered a Weepy urine separator from a British company. The instructions that came with it gave us a pretty good laugh. Once the boys were finished with the bathroom, I stained the toilet box and painted the inside of the bathroom with a mildew-resistant white paint. We forgot to run the cameras while Jordan and Noah framed in the water tank. The frame will help support the tank and be the base of our hearth. Our living room workbench will house a 3D printer, CNC tabletop mill, tooling, and materials. Since we will be operating these machines on this workbench, it will need to be built stronger than our kitchen cabinet. Thank you so much for watching. This stage of our build has been so much fun. We really feel like we can see significant progress. Give us a like if you are enjoying what you see and subscribe if you haven't already. Come with us on our perpetual adventure as we continue to create our tiny home on wheels. TTFN. Ta-ta for now!